Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm on today with the Release Death Art Club. This is the art journal that we do. Every, this is the third instalment and the theme is Halloween. Now if you want to join in with this art journal a club, a, you can check out Willie's Death's channel down below and a, you can see how to make one of these journals and also the prompts. So we've got summer, the first one was summer. Oops, that's upside down. The uh, first one's summer and the second one was nature. And the third one, which I'm showing you today, is Halloween. Now, I don't usually do Halloween, so this is something different for me. I don't have a, any, anything really ha Halloween in my stash. I've got a, well, I've got a stamp, a kind of cutesy spider stamp, but I had done this jelly print uh, back in February when I was following the jelly plate series, the February jelly series from Betsy Doodle. And I thought it was really, really ghostly looking. So I thought, I'll use that. And uh, I remembered my sister had um, some Halloween stamps. I thought, I'll borrow the humpbacked cat stamp that she's got. So, as you can see, this, is, this looks quite like a ghostly figure here. He did have legs too. <laughs> I had no idea how this... I managed to pull this jelly print off at all, uh, but I had to cut the leg bits off because so it's only a four by four piece of paper. Um, so I tore it, I tore it, and then I did another jelly plate, uh, jelly print, and this background jelly print here, this was made with yellow paint and orange paint, and the jelly print and a piece of white lace with black paint. It's funny, can you see this wee kind of pumpkin face that I, I can see? I, I never noticed it before I put it on the page, but there's a wee kind of stop there and it comes down like that and there's the two eyes and the mouth and it looks maybe like a wee tongue. <laughs> Uh, that's a bit spooky, isn't that? <laughs> so, I've uh, this jelly print here. I think I was using black paint, green paint, and orange paint. So, I remember at the time thinking how spooky it was. <laughs> I had no idea what I was going to use it as. So, I was quite pleased when the Halloween prompt came up. I added 31 for Halloween, the date of Halloween, and also my sister had this trick or treat stamp that I stamped out there in black ink. So, the next prompt will be pulled out on 1st of July, and I wonder what we'll get it then. <laughs> It could be anything, just about. <laughs> so I also want to give uh, to tell you about some giveaways that I've been noticing on YouTube. Uh, first off, we've got Lynn Shabalicious. Now, Lynn's got her 60th birthday coming up. Uh, her birthday is the 29th of July. And so Lynn has decided to do a giveaway and it closes on the 31st of July. So all Lynn would like is a birthday card. She would really prefer it to be handmade, but you can send her a bought one. If you don't do cards, you can send her a bought one and you'll still be entered. And um, she would love you to do a VR if you're on YouTube and you're able to do one. Uh, if you're not on YouTube, you... Uh, you could share it on your Facebook or Instagram or whatever other social media that you've got. And she's got um, prizes that um, 
she says it's going to be a bundle of crafty goodies. It should include like dyes, paper pads, stamps, embellishments and lace. I remember winning one of our prizes before, a eh? coming third in the Christmas one a couple of years ago. And oh, the amount of lace she sent me. Oh, <laughs> all sorts of laces. So, and I've still got some, and I've used some, and I've entered two vintage lace and bling and given some of it away, and still got loads left. So, um, so that Lynn is a, a, absolutely the queen of lace. Right, so what she would like to do is she would like to keep the cards to her birthday, until her birthday. So if she would like you to add your name and if you've got a YouTube channel on the outside of the envelope, maybe at the back of the envelope, so that she can acknowledge the, that she's already got your, your uh, giveaway entry because she's not going to be open until the 29th of July. So that's about it for Lynn. And uh, next up, we've got Cheryl Simone Crafts. Now, Cheryl Simone has got a lovely, um, lovely shop as well, which I'll link her channel down below and you can go over and have a look at all, all her lovely goodies. Uh, she does a lot of the kind of American brands. So she is uh, from the UK. So Cheryl Simone Crafts giveaway um, is only on for a week. Uh, so it ends on Saturday. That's Saturday the 26th of June. And all she wants you to do is say in the, com uh, say in the comments on our giveaway video, enter me. I'll link the giveaway video down below. And as always with these YouTube uh, giveaways, you've got to be over 18 and you've got to be a subscriber. So that's the same with Lynn's and Cheryl Simone Crass. So um, what she's got for prizes, she's got two prizes. And in both of the prizes, there'll be stamps, there'll be dies. There'll be glitter markers, there'll be some ephemera, and she put in some double sided tape. So that's that's a really nice giveaway and easy to enter. Just be a subscriber and say enter me. And good luck. And the third giveaway that, I'm, that I've got for you today is from Amber's Kintyre Crafts. Now, Amber um, is another Scottish lady and uh, she's she would like you to make an ATC. She'd love it, like your details on the back, like make your, the ATC in any style you want. And she's got her giveaway open till the 1st of September, so plenty of time to get an ATC made and sent away to her. Uh, she would also like you to do a VR if you if it's possible, and also share on social media. So if you don't do videos, you share it on their Facebook and Instagram or whatever again. Um, so Amber has got a lovely prize as well. She's got a uh, two tonic studio die sets. The first one is a fancy panel die, so it, it makes a lovely background panel. Okay, in a fern one, I think it is. And also, the second die set is a massive big die set. It's a got twenty seven piece die set, and it makes a three tiered easel card. You don't have to do a three-tiered one. You can make it into a two-tiered one. Or one. And uh, it's got things like butterflies and flowers to embellish it with. It makes a really, really impressive card. 
So that's a lovely prize. All three, all three of these giveaways have got lovely prizes and well worth entering into. So um, I'll link all the channels down below, all the giveaway videos down below. So it's nice and easy to hop across and see them. And I'll hope you, I'll hope you join me tomorrow, which is Wednesday for my uh, play and make. I've got my play and make for this week. Uh, that's week 21. And I've also got the alphabet challenge, which this week was L for letter, letter printing. <laughs> oh dear, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't remember if that's what it's letter press. I think it is letter press, and it's a technique involving embossing folders in ink. So join me for that tomorrow, and I'd love you to speak to me in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.